All right, number three. For this secant function, we're going to uh, we're going to first graph the cosine function. So y equals cosine of two theta minus one twenty plus two, because um, the cosine is going to be the reciprocal of the secant, and so that'll help us um, know where our asymptotes are going to be and and. Uh, if we can graph the cosine function, then we can graph the secant function uh, fairly easily. All right, so cosine. Let's start with our, uh, well, let's start by listing out our amplitude for this is going to be 1. There's no number there in front of that cosine. It's just an amplitude of 1. The period is going to be 360 divided by 2, so 180. The... Um, Phase shift is going to be 120 divided by 2, which is 60 degrees, and it's going to be to the right since this is negative, so to the right. And the vertical shift is going to be up 2. All right, so let's start with the vertical shift. We're going to uh, draw our midline at 2. And then the cosine starts at the maximum. The maximum is going to be uh, 3. We're going to go up 1 and uh, from our midline. That's going to be the maximum. Cosine starts at the maximum, but we're shifting this 60 degrees to the right. So right here is where our first point is going to be at 60. That's our maximum. And then uh, after one period, which is 100, or 60 plus 180, um, which would be 240, so out here somewhere, we're, we're going to be back to uh, our maximum. And then we'll reach our minimum halfway between these two points. So uh, 60 plus 90 would be 150. We'll reach our minimum of 1, because we're going down 1 from our midline of 2. All right, and then um, another thing that we need to remember about cosine is it crosses the midline halfway between the maximum and minimum here. So halfway between these two points, we're going to cross our midline, and then halfway between uh, those two points, we cross our midline. And so we'll be back um, at our midline about right here at 15 degrees. All right, so... So there's our cosine function. All right, now to graph the the secant, there's going to be a an asymptote everywhere that we cross the midline with our cosine. So there's going to be an asymptote here at 15 degrees, and an asymptote here at what's that 60 plus 45, 105 degrees, and there's going to be an asymptote here at. Uh, What's that, another 90 degrees, so 195 degrees. And then from here, we're going to go up like this. And right here, we're going to go down like that. And that's, uh, that's our secant function there, just the red, the red part. So I'll go ahead and erase this. And what we're left with is the graph of the secant.